Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Crystal and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys my newest concealer and this is the Min Potions Banana Concealer. And the great thing about our products is that we always make sure that the ingredients are very minimal. So it's not like your regular makeup that has a lot of chemicals. Um, if you're going to check the ingredients list in this it's probably like four to five ingredients only, but it performs exactly the same as a lot of high-end concealers. The nearest consistency and quality to this is the Naturactor um, Cover Face, this one. This is one of the most famous concealers slash foundations out there, and um, the coverage and the consistency is very similar to that. So I actually really like the Naturactor. My only problem with this is the shade range it's very very small and um the darkest shade is actually very light for me it also has pinkish undertone most of our skin has yellow undertone so um the darkest which is this one doesn't work for me i actually use my very own foundation as well i use the the mint potions uh, full cover acne treatment concealer with tea tree oil. I use this one all over my face. You can use this to um, like spot conceal or you can use this to conceal your under eyes. <clears throat> Sorry. You can use this to conceal your under eyes as well. But I love using this as foundation and sometimes I conceal this as well. But anyway, today we're going to talk about the Mint Potions Banana Concealer. It's actually straight up yellow concealer and the thing that i love about this the most is that it's not only yellow but it's also really full coverage and for the longest time i have been looking for the perfect yellow concealer that has um full coverage and at the same time not super oily i tried the one for inglot before um, it's a yellow concealer, but my issue with that was it's super oily. It's super greasy. I used it once or twice, and I didn't use it again. Um, but this one, I really, really like the consistency of this. So I'm going to show you guys how to use this. Um, a yellow concealer is very famous for um, using as a highlighter when you're doing your contour. And when you're doing your contour and highlight, to highlight the high points of your face. Um, you can also use this to um, cover the like spots on your face or if you want to brighten your face. This is the type of color that is usually recommended. So um, now I'm going to show you guys how I use this. Uh, you can use a brush, a sponge. You can even just use your fingers. So I think I'm going to use both. I'm going to use my fingers and my sponge. So I'm just doing an everyday makeup. I don't usually need a brush, but we will see. How you want to use this is to apply first on your nose like this. And then right here. Also, the reason why I like this so much is because it is yellow but it's not super light um there are a lot of yellow concealers that i tried from other brands that are way too light such as the inglot one so i don't know if you can see but in real life it's not that uh light really really blendable as well i'm just actually like tapping the product into my skin and I'm not pulling, I'm not pounding too hard. So I usually blend it like this with a sponge. Use my fingers to just tap the product in. You know, I tried a lot of uh, cream concealers before or cream foundations. And I find them hard to blend with a sponge for some reason. I feel like they're just too thick that they don't really blend easily with a sponge but my banana concealer and my foundations i never had problems uh blending blending them with a sponge so as you can see after blending it you won't even see that it's yellow it just blends into your skin perfectly especially if you have a yellow undertone i mean your skin is so nice it's best to set this with the arrowroot powder 
which is also 100% pure um, arrowroot powder. It doesn't have any chemicals in it. That's what I've been using to set my uh, um, my foundation and my concealer. I haven't been using my store-bought powders. Not that I don't like them, but it's just that the arrowroot powder really, really mattifies my skin. Now that I'm tapping this concealer under my eyes, it just feels like my under eyes feel so hydrated without feeling too sticky because this concealer has kaolin clay so that helps mattify the consistency and it doesn't feel greasy at all if i set this with the arrowroot powder it stays on all day and believe me when i say all day because i've tested this during an out of town trip where it was super hot outside my makeup stayed fresh all day and I had to retouch once and I used the tiniest amount of the arrowroot powder and it worked perfectly. So this is how my skin looks like using the Mint Potions Banana Concealer. As you can see, it's not super white, it's not super greasy or anything like that. It just feels like the perfect consistency and it gave a really nice coverage under my eyes. Um, all I have to do now is to set this with some loose powder. And again, I'm going to use the arrowroot powder. still have to put blush because I feel like I'm too pale. This is one of the blushes I made uh, for myself only. Of course, if you like this color, you can just request. This is just a nude shade that I customized myself. It's actually a really, really pretty color. It's also really pigmented. Um, so I'm just going to apply some on my cheeks. And then set it with some powder. I really, really love this shade. So I actually mixed Choco Iron Oxide and the nude um, Iron Oxide. And this is the result. I really love the color. And I don't know if it's just me, but I kind of stopped using powder um, blushes for now. I feel like I get a lot of skincare benefits with these blushes because it has... A lot of really good ingredients for the skin like um, sunflower oil, castor oil, um, grapeseed oil, and of course the wax in this and the, um, what do you call this? The butters that I use such as the um, cocoa butter and the, what do you call this? The shea butter of course. Super nice. It made my skin look super glowy. Um, you can stop right here. You, if you want your skin to look really glowy, you can stop here. But since I have really oily skin, I have to set this with a little bit of arrowroot powder. And I have been raving about the arrowroot powder. Like, I talk about this powder nonstop. Um, actually, this powder is super nice. It just mattifies your skin like no other it's 100 percent natural it it feels very silky on the skin to be honest like you can apply a lot of this and your face will not look cakey that's a great thing about this it also has like a translucent finish you know what i mean like, it doesn't have any color at all but it doesn't make your skin look white um look at that that's how fast it mattifies your skin and this also works wonderful for um for your lips if you are trying to mattify your lipstick like i said earlier it's amazing so here look at that glow I really really love this concealer um, I feel like it really brightened up my skin without looking super uh, light but it also helps that it's a banana color because my skin has really strong yellow undertone like if you're gonna look at my skin it's more yellow than anything else and um, this really helps neutralize the, um, the purple in my skin like on my face Oh my gosh, my skin just looks so nice. My skin just looks like a mannequin right now. This foundation routine is what I've been doing lately. I have 
a lot of foundations in my collection and I, I just don't see myself reaching for them lately just because I've been loving how my skin looks with the products um, by Mint Potions and they really work well and like I said um, they don't have a lot of chemicals in them um, this one has the full cover acne treatment concealer I think it has only five ingredients and it works exactly the same as the natural actor and a lot of uh, expensive concealers that I've tried before and um, by the way this eyeshadow that I'm wearing I'm also this is also <laughs> this eyeshadow I'm wearing right now I actually made it uh, today I made this eyeshadow only for me for personal use but I used uh, bronze mica and some shimmer and I'm gonna show you guys I used some glitters in this so for the longest time I've been looking for an everyday uh, cream eyeshadow and I can't find any so I decided to make one myself and here it is I'm actually wearing it on my eyes right now so it's a bronze eyeshadow with some glitters in it pink glitters I don't know if you guys can see um, I'm not sure if I'm going to sell this yet I'm still playing with the formula but for me I actually really like it it blends in really nicely I just want something that is that looks natural um, I can wear it super fast if I'm in a hurry so yeah I made this and I've been wearing it a lot and here's a couple of products that I made um, for myself only I made these specifically for me only so I made this really nice nude sort of like my lips but better shade look at this shade so nice I love this shade so much so I haven't found the perfect nude of lipstick for me yet so I decided to make myself just because I just can't find any um, that is perfect for me this one is a bit of a moussey texture I don't know why I feel like I need to add more wax but oh my god wait long yeah this feels like a moussey texture I feel like I need to add more wax in this but look at this one look how nice this is this is uh, the perfect red for me this one also has a matte finish and the next one is this one it's uh it's the most nude out of all the shades this is the one i'm wearing on my cheeks there so yeah like i said these are the colors that i made for myself today so i love them so if you guys are interested in the banana concealer i'm gonna be putting the link down below where you can purchase this uh we have a shopee store or you can even order this through Lala Mover Grab. I'm going to send you guys the Facebook page. If you're just um, in Metro Manila, you can order this through Grab or Lala Move. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to leave this video a big thumbs up. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and click the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I post a new video and I'll see you guys again next time.